when your teenager says, Mom, I'll keep the baby while you go to the grocery store if you go to the barn and feed the horse for me. You grab your shoes and you run. You run fast before minds change. Solo grocery trips like a mini vacation. how much I hate grocery shopping. I feel like it's torture. It's just torture. I shop on a budget and I try to only spend 150 bucks a week to feed my family for a week. And in order for us to eat healthy, I feel like I'm not gonna, I, I'm never, I'm stressing myself out. There have been some weeks that I've been able to do that and then other weeks that I just can't. Now, granted, I probably bought some things that I shouldn't have that are like treats for the kids because uh, Shay and Nick actually start a homeschool co-op this week, and um, Bree's just been helping me out a lot, like offering to keep Carter for me today so that I could come and grocery shop alone. And I just, so I just wanted to be nice and buy like a little special treat whatever but you know they're so expensive and like now I'm getting ready to go to BJ's which is like a bulk buying facility and I have to buy our meats and a lot of chicken and a lot of turkey so that's expensive but of course I had somebody say that red meat apparently the price of red meat went up a lot I, I mean I don't know because I don't buy red meat very often and if I do buy it it's usually in the winter and I buy like a roast and I'll cook it in the crock pot now I did because my husband's doing the 21 day fix I did do a uh, it was like a, a beef tip roast not roast I'm sorry like a stew beef uh, it was almost they called it beef stew that you put over top of brown rice but to me it didn't really look like beef stew it was just kind of like a beef soup with a bunch of vegetables so um, uh, we did have red meat earlier this week. It just always makes me feel like crap. But anyway, now I'm getting ready to go to BJ's and I'm probably going to spend a fortune in there because I buy bulk fruit and I buy bulk meat and I just want to cry. I'm at, I'm literally at, uh, I've so far I've spent $138. I just spent $118 in Walmart for all of our side stuff. And I spent $20 at the farmer's market. I spent all my $20 at the farmer's market. And just now I gotta go to BJ's. So I don't think I'm gonna hit my $150 this week. Can you guys like let me know in the comments like what your average budget is for your family? And if you actually do have a family of, how many kids do I have? Four or five, six, a family of six? what your grocery budget is a week or a month or however because maybe the hundred and fifty dollars is unrealistic I live in Maryland and I live in one of the most expensive counties in Maryland so I do come over to another county to do the majority of my grocery shopping that's supposed to be a little bit cheaper but it's just not it's just not like I said, maybe $150 a week is a very unrealistic expectation. Guys, my view of where I live is beautiful. Does anyone else have this problem? Shaking my head, I swear I just shake my head. I had a total mommy win because I'm solving the problem with... Tube free toilet paper. Tube free. Scott Naturals. Tube free toilet paper. Now we won't have any more tubes laying around our bathrooms. Mom win. Cooking with my favorite team. <laughs> She's making the quinoa. I'm doing these veggies. It is a 21 day fix meal that I found for my husband. It is, and I'll link the uh, recipe down below so you can go check it out if you want. But it is a Boss McGrilled Summer Vegetable. I actually found it on Pinterest 
and it's really, really good. And I just chopped up some fresh basil, and it smells so delicious. I love the smell of fresh basil. So, we'll see how this goes. I think my husband will be very appreciative of it. Quinoa and brown rice. Look at how pretty that is though. It's so colorful. So colorful. Okay guys, this is the finished product. I got mozzarella balls. I have all the vegetables mixed with balsamic vinegar and a tiny bit of olive oil. It was three tablespoons of olive oil all together in the whole thing. And the quinoa. I actually was supposed to do just quinoa, but we accidentally bought quinoa brown rice. So if you follow the 21 day fix, this meal is actually one entire green, one entire yellow, and I'm going to say about a half of a blue because that mozzarella stick is no, it would not fill up this blue container or maybe it would. Yeah, about three quarters of a blue. So, if you do the 21 day fix, this is what the 21 day fix containers would look like for this. But I actually did measure out the vegetables in the green and measured out the quinoa brown rice in the yellow. So we have one green, one yellow, and one blue. But that is a lot of food. Like, that is a lot of food. So a lot of people are intimidated when they do the 21 day fix because of the container sizes, but that's a lot of food. That's just three containers, that's a lot. The only thing I did different from the recipe that I told you I would link down below is, well, we made the balsamic vinegar, but I didn't do, it calls for cherry tomatoes, but we don't like cherry tomatoes, so we don't eat them. I replaced it with asparagus. So really, all this is is eggplant, zucchini, asparagus, red onions, and fresh thyme. And then this is quinoa and mozzarella. Just low fat mozzarella. What is it? It's a Dalek. What is a Dalek? From Doctor Who. Little shoe. robot. Shoe. Look, Carter. Shoe. You, shoe. you need your shoes? Shoe. Where? Um. Yes, baby cake. Hey, buddy, come here. Let me see. What is <laughs> it's a Lego. You have to put it together. Oh, well, that's even better for you. What is it? Show it? me. Can I see it? I don't know what it is. I don't know anything about Dr. Who. Start, I have to put it together. Hey, baby. Let me see. So what is it exactly? It's a Dalek. But what is the Dalek? Let me see the picture. What is that? Okay, so they're micro figures, and but they're Lego micro figures. Okay, I do have a husband. You gonna say hi, Brian? No. You gonna say hi. No. I'm not saying hi. <laughs> He's all sweaty from his workout. I actually had no idea who Doctor Who was until I started watching. Heidi Kim, I'll link her channel down below. She has her own channel, and then she has Setting Kim Pack. She's a daily vlogger. I, I kept seeing her making references. It was the first time I'd ever actually heard of Doctor Who. And Nick, my son Nick, just started, like, watching it on Netflix. What is season three? And he, he's already on season three. So I don't really know a whole lot about Doctor Who. I did see... See, say something on my personal Facebook asking if anybody could give me any pointers on uh, the show and whether or not it was kid appropriate because I don't even know. But uh, if you do, link it down below. Or that's a green pepper. Can you not do that, please? Would you like me to cut you up a pepper? Uh, don't bite it. It's not an apple. It's a green pepper. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to eat one of these peppers? Oh, those are good. Take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> the owl. 
You don't like it? Yeah. No, it's not yucky. It's good. <laughs> yeah. These peppers, they're called Aranos, and I get them from an organic stand at the farmer's market, and they're so sweet, and they are so good, and I craved them like the entire time. I was pretty much harder. But as far as what I got today from the farmer's market for $20, because I suck where I live, it's, I got four peaches, I got a half a dozen ear of super sweet corn, I got three green peppers, I got a bag of sweet potatoes, I got a cucumber, and I got the aranos. And I got this big ginormous watermelon that I'm getting ready to wash and cut as soon as I do my dishes. You washing my watermelon for me? Run your hands all over it and get all the dirt off. Good work. Good work. Get it all nice and clean. Flip it all around. Thank you so much. You're such a big help for mom. Mine. Mine? Yeah, do you like watermelon? Say yes. Mama. Watermelon? Mama. Oh, mommy's actually gonna use this big knife, okay? Okay. Yay. <laughs> knife, yes, hurt you. Say ow. 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 Do you know when your baby brother or sister's done growing, they'll be about the size of a watermelon? Sometimes mommy feels like her belly is already that size. Whoa! You're gonna have some nice, delicious, cool watermelon for snacks this week. What do you think? Bye. Look right here in the camera and say hi, everybody. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Bye. <laughs> this is insanity. Carter is obsessed with Doctor Who as well as Nick. Look at him. Carter, are you watching Doctor Who? I went to go to bed and realized I forgot to end the vlog. So, I'm ending the vlog. It's late. I watched a movie with my teenager. And toddler went to bed at a reasonable time. And I had popcorn. And it was great. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to hit the hay. Bye.